Hey guys, so we're on another adventure today. Right now we are in uh, Akabane Station and we have a full day of filming today. We're gonna be going on the train, we're gonna be eating some ekiben, which is station bento for you guys. And well, it's just gonna be a really long day. Well, okay, so we're on the platform of the station. We're waiting for a train to arrive. You know what? I'm already tired before we get started. We're running around all over the place, rushing to and fro. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this trip. <laughs> so guys, I'm having a really bad hair day. I don't like my hair. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. Uh, we're on the train now. This really pretty cool train I've never been on it. I got this Pokey. I found this new one. And this is called Pokey Squeeze. Uh, I think it's peach flavor. Brand new item. I've never seen this one. This is actually kind of pricey. It's um, almost 200 yen uh, when you add the tax to it. So it's about double the price of a regular Pokey. You know, looking out the window of the train, passing through the countryside is so relaxing. It's probably one of the most relaxing things that one can do, especially if you live in Tokyo. I love it. All right, we have arrived at our destination. What is this place called? Yokokawa. Yokokawa. And I didn't know that it was so much colder than in Tokyo. It's crazy cold. It's like we're in the middle of winter again and I'm dying. And that's why I needed my hot tea and my hot miso soup. So now we're gonna go over there to this place called Popo Town. I have no idea what that is, but I believe it's indoors. So that in itself makes me super happy. So right now we're in this train museum and I'm inside a very old train that's no longer in operation and it's really really cool it's really really cool not only that it's actually warm in here it's cold outside all right guess where we are now we are walking along the old railway tracks that used to lead up to the mountains Right here, yes, these are where the rail tra railway tracks are. They still are here. And um, why are we walking on this road? I have no idea. Now, a lot of people think that you have to have a famous destination to go to in order to travel. But take today, for example, we decided to come to this remote place with nothing really to see except for these old railway tracks, but just walking, you know. Especially on a beautiful day like today, you know under the beautiful Sun and yes, it is very cold and It's a little uncomfortable, but you know what this is gonna remain in my memory forever Wow Wow Look at that bridge I think it's very rare that one gets to walk under a Bridge since I'm cold. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start running. I'm gonna jog a bit you wanna go for a run? Let's run. Let's catch up with Satoshi, shall we? <laughs> you know, last night I felt so bad. Tired is more like it, but I also felt bad. Probably, most likely because I worked out a bit too hard at the gym. I just started gymming about a week ago since I came back from Hong Kong. Some of you may know I used to weigh a lot heavier, 120 kilograms or 250 pounds at one time in my life. And I lost most of the weight through exercise and eating properly. Towards the end, um, I switched to a low carb diet and that helped me lose the rest of the weight until I got to my ideal weight. I actually went underweight, I think, <laughs> at one time. But yeah, I was thin and fit um, until I started YouTube. 
problem was that I chose food as a topic because, well, you know, I'm passionate about food. I love food. And the thing is that Japanese food consists of a lot of rice. And the thing is that we have a lot of good bread here in Japan as well. So, you know, we started eating a lot of bread and rice again. Basically, I say goodbye to a low carb diet. So, now my plan is to work out pretty much every day and to perhaps maybe try to eat less carbs at nighttime. A lot of people ask us, how do you guys stay so slim while eating all that food? Well, my answer is that it's not easy. It's challenging, that's for sure. But we are getting there. This year, we plan to become healthier and fit. Oh, check that out. There's a river right down there. Can you guys see it? I decided to jog a little bit more, you know, just to burn some extra calories and to get some fitness in today because I won't be going to the gym today. So one of the easiest ways to stay fit is to add some activity in your daily life, such as running up a hill or walking up the steps instead of taking the elevator. That's actually what I do back at my home. Okay, I think we've uh, walked far enough. I don't know where Satoshi is. I think I left him back there somewhere behind. Um, but I think we're gonna turn back soon and then hop into the train again and go to our next destination. Hey guys, so I'm on the train again. We are going to Takasaki where we are gonna visit a temple. I'm gonna go eat some more. <laughs> we're just about there guys. We're almost there, and we have arrived. <sighs> Look at this, oh my god. Oh wow, this is the Daruma Temple. Look at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have never seen a temple quite like this. Check it out. Wow, you know what? This place is stunning. I cannot believe this. I've never seen a temple with like hundreds of darumas on either side. Wow, this is unbelievable. 